Hi guys, another charity shop gold or garbage episode. It's Sunday and I've been out for a cup of coffee and found a charity shop that was open which I didn't expect and when I went in there I found something that I couldn't resist buying. It's a helicopter. An easy to fly RC radio controlled helicopter. Cost me £14.95. Not the sort of thing I would normally buy, that's far more than I like to spend in a charity shop. But I had a quick look at it in the shop and I noticed it's a Maplin Electronics. Um, package and I trust Maplins and I also noticed it's got a LiPo battery in it and I thought that might be worth buying just for the battery. So we'll have a look As I say, I had a quick look in the shop, because it's more than I'd normally spend, so I thought it was worth checking. Oh, you can see the LiPo battery there. That feels alright, doesn't feel like it's um, bulging or anything. Although it's obviously come loose from there where it should be. We've even got flashing LEDs when I turn it on so there's obviously some power in there. Turn it off again. We've got the instruction booklet. And let me get this out. We've got a transmitter, got the aerial, that looks like that needs one, two, three, four double A batteries. Oh no, hang on. Is it more than that? Yeah, double sided, so that's eight AA batteries. So I'll have a look for that in a minute. Power supply. LiPo battery charger. Spare propellers, spare blades. <laughs> There's a bit of a broken one there, so it's obviously had an accident at some time. A few other bits and pieces floating around in there, but that's good to see some spare parts. They actually look like they're okay. Got a bit of mud on them, so it's obviously had a crash. But other than that, that looks okay. So I'd better go and get some batteries for the transmitter and see what happens. That's not so good. I've plugged in the battery into the battery charger. The red power lights come on but the green charging light is not on and they should both be on. Reading the instructions there plug the put the plug of the power battery into the socket on the charging box the green light will turn on 
and increase as the battery power increases. When the battery power is reaching 100% the green LED will blinking is completed. Remark, when put power battery into charging box but the green LED is unchanging it means batteries are fully recharged. So, we've got no green LED at all but we do have power. So I'm a bit worried now. Either the LED is faulty which is a vague possibility or there's something wrong with the battery and it's not charging at all. I guess I'd better go and get me meter and have a look. Quick check with the meter. And that is charging. Because that was 7.73 when I first looked at it a few minutes ago. That looks like that might have been a false alarm. Now that I've left it for a while green lights come on permanently which means it should be fully charged so I just bring the meter back into shot again and go across the terminals okay 8.12, 8.13 so that's definitely taken charge but I've just checked on the internet and it's not fully charged until we're up to 8.4 volts. So if I just check, we're on 8.27 at the moment and still rising. So I think I've got to leave it for a little bit longer. So I'll keep my eye on it and see if we can get up to 8.4. OK guys. Still not confident with that battery charger, but I've measured the voltage. We're now up to 8.4 volts. Uh, the LED hasn't started flashing and it hasn't gone out. It's permanent glow. So depending on how I read the instructions, that means it should be fully charged. So I've put it in the helicopter. It's now dark outside, so we can't go and try it in the garden. So I'll just see if we can actually get it to lift off the ground a little bit and that'll have to do. Well, it's receiving the signal close to the wall there. We really need much more space to do this. Yep, yeah, we came off the ground then. scared of getting too close to the side. I wonder if I can try this in the living room, a bit more space. Well I'm not sure if I've got any more space here, it's still a bit tight. Ooh, going the wrong way. chickened out, didn't I? <laughs> I'm 
going to have to do this in the garden. Whoops! <laughs> I think we broke one of the rotors there. Good job there's a few spares. So I think the message here is going to have to do it in the garden. Right, that's actually worse than I hoped because the bit that's broken isn't the bit that's supposed to break. It's supposed to be the rotor that breaks. Whereas that's one of the actual, uh, well, <laughs> another part that's broken there and that isn't within the spares. So we're not going to be flying this in the garden tomorrow. I'm going to have to see if I can get a replacement part. 